Hello, I'm Jonas from Thinkskies. I'm here in front of the Thinkbot P70, um, right here. Um, it's a 17-inch workstation, and it's, it's a lot faster than the 15-inch version right over there, which is only um, equipped with a M2000M Quadro graphics card, and the P70 is capable of a Quadro M5000M. 5, now, what we see here is the uh, first thing I'm going through is the keyboard. We here have the dedicated volume buttons with a status indicator. There is also a status indicator for the numlock key. Mm -hmm. The this is still the same. Caps lock indicator is there as well. And there is also a hard drive flat right over there. Right over there. And it has a backlit keyboard. Three buttons for the track point, three for the trackpad. The trackpad uses a different material for the surface. Um, this is done to make it last longer. So it's made for the engineers with their um, grease on their hands, fingers. Now we're going to the sides. What we have over here is a USB 3.0 port with always on USB charging functionality. And here we have the Ultra Bay with a DVD drive installed on the smart card reader, which is currently, currently, currently has a dummy in it, so it's not working in this sample. Also, as you can see, this is still a early unit prototype, not a final version. Um, we have an audio combo jack, two USB 3.0 ports, express card, uh, an express card slot. Then there is a multimedia card reader, USB 3.0 port right over there. And the mini display port, which is attached to this beautiful screen. Then at the back, we will have two Thunderbolt ports. One HDMI port, Ethernet port, and a power jack. So you have plenty of ports to choose from. And there are a total of four display ports, which is quite a lot. Three at the back, one here at the sides. Um, we here see the touch fingerprint reader, uh, which will require a swiping fingerprint reader. <clears throat> um, this one is supposed to be more reliable, um, so you don't have to uh, use multiple tries to um, authenticate with your finger. Now the display is a matte IPS 4K panel, 2260 pixels in height. Um, there is also a full HD option with the uh, IPS. So you don't have to worry about it being a TN panel as in the previous series. Um, what else is there? Um, you can have a Xeon processor or just i7s. Up to 64 gigabytes ECC DDR4 memory. Okay, the hard drives are pretty... Um, yeah, this is where it gets pretty interesting. You have a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD. Then there are two M2 slots, so you can have two for uh, room for two more extra SSDs of uh, M2 size PCIe. So you can have up to three storage devices in here if you want to decide to use the Ultra Bay for an extra hard drive or SSD. You have up to four devices. So you, this machine, the P70, is capable of up to four storage devices. Well, unofficially, officially up to three, I think. Um, you can also use a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD instead of the two M2 SSDs. <coughs> so you can choose to have either two M2 SSDs or one 
2.5 inch. Um, the material is still same more or less. It has a little bit changed. It will be probably a mixture between glass fiber and carbon fiber. Um, the bottom in this model isn't clear, but I believe it will. It is magnesium, aluminium. <coughs> um, there are two fans in this machine. One here at the back left, one here at the back right. There are two or three heat pipes at the bottom, which is amazing. They have each a separate fan, so the cooling is extra powerful. Um, if you have more questions, please ask and we will see you at Thank you very much.